Newcastle have been the Premiership's laughing stock for years now, with comedy signings such as Titus Bramble, a chairman who slagged off his own fans, and more managers than Man United have had away kits. But St James's Park regularly boasts crowds of over 50,000. And what about Leeds? A combination of mismanagement and Peter Ridsdale saw the team drop from Champions League contenders to Division 1 no marks in the space of five years. But week in, week out, Ellen Road is full. They're there in their thousands, sometimes when there's no game on. So just who would come out on top in a Premier League of fans? Newcastle or Leeds? It's got to be Newcastle. Got to be Newcastle. OK, Gav? I think they're both great, but I give the edge uh, to Leeds for, uh, for a reason, which I'll bring up when you ask me. OK, I'm asking you now. Um, I think it's Leeds are lower down in the in the table, and I think it's, it's tougher to be a fan at that stage. And Newcastle, you know, the crowds are a phenomenon of the last sort of 10, 15 years. And I think really, really good fans would not have put up with what Freddie Shepard said. They would have been out there and they would have gotten rid of him physically. And instead, of course, he's that's an interesting point. I love the way that Gab the Italian is suggesting they should have gotten rid of him physically. Should have got the boys yes. round, done a job. Should have boycotted the club. Yeah. For me, I mean, these, these these are sold out every week. Leeds is not sold out every week. You said it was. It's not. I mean, their their crowds have gone from tw I think it's down to about twenty one thousand. Yeah, average. they were up to about twenty eight at the start of the season um, when they were doing well. Um, There's only so game, much Rotherham you game, can watch, though. So. Given the given the division that they're Absolutely. in. Absolutely, but but um, you know, Newcastle would would undoubtedly get those sort of gates. I mean...